We've had a slew of new products in the last year, and we wanted to take the time to go over these products and compare them in detail. In this video, we'll be discussing the three new portable nebulizer systems, the Omron U100, the Flip, and the Inospire Go. All of these products are extremely quiet and pretty fast. They are intended for on-the-go use and can all fit in a handbag or purse. The Omron U100 is made by the same company that makes the popular Omron Microwear. It is just a little bigger than its predecessor, but remains a high-quality product. The U100 is the least expensive of the new units, and it is cheaper than its predecessor even after the rebate. Another big pro of this product is that you can use it at any angle, even when lying down. Most handheld units need to be held at a 45 degree angle, but this one is unique in that you can use it while practically vertical. The medication chamber has a 10 milliliter limit and is bigger than all the other portable units that we sell and the unit itself is really good at taking in all of that medication. This unit is battery operated and runs for up to four hours on just two AA batteries, which is about 30 treatments depending on the amount of liquid medication you need. When inserting the batteries, make sure you do one up and one down as indicated by the small positive and negatives inside the unit. Assembling and disassembling also requires paying attention to the design. To remove the lid, you want to squeeze the two lines. This is true also of opening the medication chamber. To remove the medication chamber, it is not a simple pull. Notice the design and you can see it is a twisting motion that will take it off. Similarly, you will want to hear clicks when closing the unit, both for the medication chamber, the mouthpiece, and the lid. Finally, the mesh cap. Because this is exposed, it is slightly more fragile than the other units. You really want to be especially careful not to squeeze this part too hard or stick your finger in the middle of this part. As with its predecessor, this is the part that should be replaced every year as indicated in the manual. This unit will sometimes stop dispensing medication while on. This is normal and it is because the vibrating unit is not immersed in medication. You simply need to tilt the unit and the medication will once again begin dispersing. All of these units ask that you clean after each use. This one is no different and is only slightly more complicated than the others because there are more overall parts. It is recommended that you run distilled water through the unit after each use. Use mild detergent mixed with water to soak the parts daily and then rinse and dry. Boiling the parts is recommended for disinfecting. Now on to the flip. The flip is probably the most compact of the new units. It really can fit into your pocket and has a clean, simple design. The cost of ownership of this unit is the lowest as you pay for the product that is warrantied for three years and there are no parts that need to be replaced. The design of this product is intended to be tiny and as such the medication chamber is the smallest of the three. It holds a little over three milliliters of medication. To fill the medication chamber, open the back of the unit and flip open the plastic chamber. Fill the chamber and close by not just pressing down on the stopper, but by putting the inner lip of the stopper in at an angle and then pushing down. The design is pretty straightforward. There are no masks sold for this unit and is therefore not recommended for younger children. The biggest user issue to note on this unit is that it's not recommended to exhale back into the flip. You should exhale out your nose or remove the unit and exhale from the side. It will turn itself off automatically after 10 minutes or you can manually shut it off by using the on-off switch. The flip has a chargeable lithium battery that will last eight treatments per charge. Cleaning of the flip is slightly different. The manual suggests using distilled water for cleaning. It also recommends using ethyl alcohol for disinfecting instead of boiling water. This is because the nebulizer disc is not removable from the battery unit. And last, the Inaspire Go by Philips Respironics. This unit is another simple design, having really two main parts, the mouthpiece and the handset. It is the fastest with a treatment time of about four minutes. 
You charge the unit just like you would a cell phone and it provides up to 30 treatments per charge. To fill the medication chamber, you simply lift the lid and pour. It is important to note that you will not hear a click when you close the unit, but it should still be able to contain the medication securely in the mouthpiece. Start the nebulization and breathe in and out normally. You will notice that there will be vapor coming out the back of the unit. This is normal. Treatment time will be about four minutes for a standard medication dose. Once done, the unit will shut itself off. Cleaning the Inaspire Go requires you to run the unit with water after each use. Daily, you should soak the water-safe parts in soapy water and then rinse and dry. Weekly, you should boil the mouthpiece as directed in the manual. The delicate part of this unit is inside the mouthpiece and is not easily accessible by the human finger, making this unit pretty durable. It is recommended that you replace the mouthpiece after a year. That is it for our new units released in the last year. They all have their benefits and they all do a great job allowing you to take your nebulizer with you for on-the-go treatments. As always, if you have any questions, our knowledgeable staff at Just Nebulizers is ready to take your call.